Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson men's basketball head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, you played twice last week. Let's talk about the first game first. Um, you hosted Lebanon Valley here uh, Wednesday night and uh, had a couple of nice comebacks. You're down 16 in the first half and down 11 in the second half, but ultimately we were able to come back and win. Just kind of take us a little bit through that game and uh, how it went for you guys. Well, Lebanon Valley is a tough outfit. Uh, they've got two of the better players, uh, not only in our conference or region, but in the country. And um, Sam White, uh, they're, um, they're a really, really good perimeter player, uh, got off to a fast start. And um, they were in really good rhythm offensively um, and um, put us back on our heels a little bit. In the second half, um, we were able to uh, um, do some different things on him. Uh, and, and again, I, I thought that our, our guys put forth a great effort, but uh, they also made a, a concerted effort to get the ball into Andy Orr on the interior. So now that presented a different challenge for us. And uh, fortunately for us, we, uh, uh, we were one possession better. Yeah, there was a point in the first half there where Sam Light, it just seems like every time he touched the ball, it was going in. Um, but I say I will say a couple of guys. I thought Corey Haven stepped up, made some shots, and uh, Marcus Dentley in the first half to kind of keep you guys in the game. Yeah, uh, as I stated, we couldn't get a tourniquet on it early, and so um, uh, we went to our bench, and and Corey who. Um, uh, provides us energy, uh, was able to get a couple baskets, and, and that kind of uh, um, got us going again. And um, um, his, his uh, attitude is infectious and permeated our team, and, and uh, we were able to work ourselves back into a, a workable margin at halftime. And, and then in the second half, um, uh, we were able to continue that. Yeah, the game was actually tied at halftime, and then, but then the second half they came out. I think they scored the first, you know, nine or eleven points to kind of. But you were able to claw back from that, and um, you know, second half guys that kind of stepped up all year. Um, Dansell Wright and Jalen Johnson, and uh, Jalen hit that big shot with thirty seconds to go to put you guys on top for the first time since two nothing. Yeah, it was a big shot, um, late in the shot clock, and um, he got a good look and, and knocked it down. And um, and then um, that happened with 28 seconds left, and then we were able to uh, uh, get a stop, and, and uh, Denzel made some clutch free throws down the stretch. Uh, uh, we did a good job of getting him the ball, and, and um, he's a 90-plus percent free throw shooter. Um, so we were down with 30 seconds left in the game, um, and then quickly within uh, 10 seconds, we were up two possessions. Yeah. Yeah, and overall, just just a good win. Like you said, battle back a couple times. Um, and then Saturday, you guys go up to Arcadia, and um, you, you're kind of in the game the whole time, but at the same time, couldn't really make that run late to kind of you know put you guys over the top. Well, unfortunately for us, we got down again, uh, double figures, and and um, our guys worked their way back again into the game and got a second half lead. Um, but this is something that has has plagued us a little bit here, and, and uh, we've got to address that because uh, the teams in our conference are too good to get uh, behind double figures and try right. to win, especially when you're on the road. Yeah, um, what do you do to address that as a staff to kind of look at, see what you're doing, and kind of stress the importance of hey, we can't we can't come from behind every single game, you know. Let's try to get up on somebody and try to maintain a lead rather than try to you know claw from behind time after time. Well, you have to look deeper and find out why you're um, getting in uh, um, those situations. And, and clearly there's some things that we are not doing uh, that's required of us, and, and that's putting us back on our heels. And then again, give our opponents credit. Um, if, if you don't do certain things in this conference, uh, the teams are going to capitalize on it, and, um, and they are. And uh, we've got to uh, address those. We have to have a sense of urgency uh, to get those corrected because um, um, it's the difference between winning and losing for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you've got a few days to work on, you know, break for finals. Obviously, you guys are going to be pre preoccupied with academics first, but obviously you'll still be practicing and working on some things. It gives you a chance to work on some different things, head to a couple of non-conference games next week. Yeah, we get out of conference uh, for four games and starting next week, uh, which is a very important period for us. We've got to um, keep bringing our bench along. We've got a lot of young guys there that we uh, think very highly of, and, and uh, we've got to uh, get them uh, acclimated to um, extended play. And then um, we've got to address the areas that we talked about here are, are, are that I mentioned. Um, we've got to get better. And um, so this is an important time for our basketball team. All right. All right well, thanks a lot, Coach. Um, um, you know, thanks for your time as always, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Greg. All right, for Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.